Hi everybody and welcome to the Heart of Pilates and Yoga Home Workouts. My name is Nicole and I'll be your instructor today. Join me as we move through a lower body focus workout targeting those hips, glutes and thighs. Enjoy! Take a nice big step forward with your left foot, leaving your right leg behind, create a really big stance between your front leg and your back leg. Ideally, lift your back heel and soften into your right knee. Hands can come onto your hips here, dropping your right knee towards the floor for a lunge. Exhale up and inhale down. Exhale, push the floor away. Inhale, lower. Let's do another eight. Lift, lower. Seven, lower. Six, lower five, down, four, down, three, and down, two, and down, and we're gonna hover down and hold. Create some little pulses here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it there. Stretch your right leg nice and long, lean your body forward, and then soften the right knee back towards the floor, inhale. Exhale, push through right leg, stretch it straight, lean forward. Inhale, right knee bends again. Let's do another eight. Hinge it forward and bend the right. Seven more, exhale forward and inhale, bend for six. Push it forward and five. Think about your tailbone pushing back and four more. Get nice and low, exhale. And three, stretch, and two, stretch, and one more, and hold. Hands down to frame your foot, high plank. Find that nice strong hold for eight counts. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees fall down, finding that four point kneeling position. The left leg extends, inhale it bends. Exhale, left leg long and bring it back. Exhale, stretch. Think energy from the toes over knee, over thigh. Push through and bring it back. Stay with me here for 10. Out, nine and eight, seven, six and five. Keep your body aligned, four more, and three, and two. Hold it straight on one, tap the floor, inhale down. Lift, lower, lift and lower. Now make sure you're squeezing your left butt and left thigh so that you're not using your low back to do the lift of the leg. Exhale, 10, 10 to go, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, and four, three, and two. Hold it up on one and bend your knee. Kick your arm and butt cheek with your heel and extend the leg, point the toe. Flex and bend, extend, point. Flex and bend, extend, and point. Go for 10, stretch, nine, extend, Eight, keep your thigh lifted. Seven, lift the left knee. Six, and five, and four, three, and two, and one. Now bend the knee, flex the foot, and lift and pulse it up. Think of lifting the thigh, squeezing your butt, and pulsing for 10. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and draw that left knee in. Now take a seat and lower yourself down onto your back for some single leg bridges. As you roll down, we want the right foot grounded and our left leg to float up into tabletop. We're gonna lift the hips up one count. So push the right foot down. Then second count, the left leg extends. Can you line up your knees and thighs? Third count, we bend the left knee. And the fourth count, we lower. Let's do it again. Lift up, 
Second count, extend the left leg. Third count, bend. Fourth count, lower. Last eight. Up, stretch, bend, and lower. Let's go again. Seven, two, three, and four. And six, two, three, and four. And five, two, three, and four. And four, stretch, bend, and lower. Last three, out, in, and down for two. Up, stretch, in, and down. One more. Up, stretch, bend, and hold. Pulses up. Lift, and lift for eight, seven, six, and five, four more, and three, and two, and one, and then lower the hips down. Plant your left foot on the floor and just set up hip width apart. Then we're gonna release some of that energy and start to just roll the spine up and along the floor and just move into a set of hip rolls. Roll the spine down, keep the neck long. Think about rolling up in order of your spine and rolling down in order of your spine. Let's go for another five counts. Keep rolling for four. And rolling for three. And rolling for two. Find your breath. And one more roll. And breathe it out. Let's lower those hips down. Now we're gonna set up for our bridges, our glute bridges on the left side down. So let's lift the right leg into tabletop. 90 degrees if you can, left foot is grounded. Use the back of the arms, press down firmly. Let's move the hips up, one count. Second count, right leg long. Bend, and then lower the hips. So let's do that again, hips up, one count. Extend the right leg, two. Bend the right leg, three. Lower the hips, four. Let's do that eight more times. Hips come up, stretch, bend, and lower. Last seven, up, two, three, and four. Six, up, two, three, and four. Five, up, two, three, and four. Four more, out, in and down for three, lift, extend, bend and lower, two more, lift, extend and bend and lower, one more, lift, extend and bend and lower, plant your feet on the floor, inhale, exhale, one hip roll, reset it all and then roll those hips back down, grab hold of the legs and start to roll yourself up one bone at a time, and then find your way back into four-point kneeling. Hands and knees for your four-point kneeling. Take a nice big breath and start to extend your right leg behind you. Stretch out of the knee, out of the toes, and inhale, bend. Exhale, and inhale. Think about the weight between the hands, and can you make it nice and even? So one hand doesn't take more load than the other. You really wanna feel your body working along those two train track lines and the weight feels relatively even from right side to left side. Spread the fingers out nice and wide. Bring energy to the right leg. Stretch across the thighs, squeeze your butt, and lift and lower, inhale. Exhale, another 10. And nine. And eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four three, and two, hold it out on one, tap the floor, tap and lift. Remember to keep energized across the back of the leg and right into those glutes. Make sure that the low back isn't doing the work for you. Lift and lower, inhale, exhale, another 10. Keep your chest lifted from the floor for a nine. Neck is long, gazing to the top of the mat. Exhale for seven, six, five, and four, three, and two. Hold it up on one. Flex your foot. 
kick your own butt cheek with your heel, point the toes and stretch the leg, keep your knee lifted. And bend and extend, you've got this. Thighs high, knee is lifted. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Just another 10. And another nine. Abs are in and up. Eight, squeeze that thigh. Seven. And six. Breathing out to extend. Five. And four. Three. And two. And one. Now bending through that right knee. Flex your foot, heel to the sky. Let's stamp it up. Pulse it, lift, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And lower. Taking high plank position where we hold it for 8. Curl the toes, stretch the knees. Firm hands. Lift your chest away from the floor. Last 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Let's step the right foot forward. Push yourself up and away from the floor. Hands on your hips. Big stance between your front leg and your back leg. Ground your right heel, drop the knee to the floor. Exhale, push away. Inhale, exhale. 10, and nine. Lift, eight, seven, Six, five, four, and three, two, and one. Pulses down, get low and hover, and bounce it up and down. Stay strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay low and hold. Left leg extends, lean forward, tailbone pushes back. And inhale, bend the left knee to the floor. Push through. Inhale, bend that left knee, last eight. And hinge it forward. Last seven. Inhale, sink it low. Exhale, forward. And six. Ground through the right heel. Let's go for five. We're nearly there. And push. And four. Push, and three, and two, once more, and exhale, soften the knee, left leg steps forward, and then walk out those feet. Pat down your butt, drop your chin into your chest, let's take a forward fold, and breathe some length into the back of those legs. As you fold it down, think crown the head to the floor, you might like to bend the knees a little bit here, inhale. Exhale. And let's start to make our way down onto our right hand side for a little bit of side lying glutes. So as you make your way down, we're gonna set the knees up in front of our body and the feet are just slightly flicking back behind us. Lower down and support your head if you feel comfortable or drop your ear to your shoulder. We're gonna float the feet up an inch or two off the floor and start to work our clam to kick. So we lift and we kick connect the toes and then lower. We lift and kick and connect the toes and lower the knee. We lift up, stretch, toes and knees. We're gonna go for 10. So we lift, stretch, toes, knees. For nine, stretch, toes, knees. Eight, stretch, toes, knees. Seven, stretch, toes, knees, six, stretch, toes and knees, and five, stretch, toes and knees, four, stretch, toes and knees, final three, and toes and knees, two, out, toes and knees, and one, out, toes and knees. Now we're going to take the legs nice and long. So stretch them all the way to the front corner of your mat. Take your top leg so your left leg comes in. The knee rests onto the floor, the toes are still lifted. Left hand pushes down. We stretch that left leg long and slightly behind us. Inhale, exhale. 
Inhale, the knee leads on the way down. Exhale, the toe leads on the way out. Think about your knee coming higher than your belly button. If you can, stretch it and bend it and stretch it. Let's do it. Push it away, squeeze your butt, think out of the eye. Stretch and 10 and nine and eight, seven, six and five, four more, keep energized. Go for three, stretch to the toes for two and for one. Now hold it up, cross the arms to a little bit of a genie fold, lower your chest towards the mat and start to lift it up and up and up. So the left hip still lifted, stretch the legs straight and strong and pulse it up. Squeeze your butt and your outer thigh and energize the toes for a 10, for a nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now lower that leg to the floor, roll yourself onto your belly. Bring your hands and stack them one over the other like a little pancake stack. And then start to stretch your kneecaps up from the floor so that just the top of the toes are resting. Then we're gonna lift both of the legs up together, float them up, and soften them to the floor. Think your belly button staying slightly lifted so that you don't wanna dump into the lower back or push the belly into the floor too hard. So we're still contracted through the belly. We lift the thighs, exhale, inhale, lower. Feel free to rest your forehead down on those hands. Just get nice and relaxed through the neck. Try not to tense too much through the upper back. Stay for another five. Lift them up for four. Exhale, the knees are straight. Lift for three. Two more here. And lift and hover, hold it there. We're gonna swim just the legs. Up, down, opposite sides for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You can soften those legs there, take a breath. And let's begin our transition. We're gonna do the other side of those legs. So let's come on down to our left hand side. So the right leg is gonna be your working leg. Let's set the knees up slightly forward of the body and your feet are slightly back. Come on down, get comfortable. Hand can support your head or ear can rest on your shoulder. We're gonna lift the toes up a little bit so float them away from the floor. Once we have that position, stack your top hip over your bottom one. Top knee lifts, we kick it out, connect the toes and then close the knee. So we lift, stretch, toes and knee. So we wind open, clam, kick, toes, and knee. Let's keep going. Up, stretch, toes, and knee. Lift, stretch, toes, and knee. Last 10 guys, up, stretch, toes, and knee. Stack those hips for a nine. Stretch, toes, knee. Eight, toes, and knee. Seven, toes, and knee. Six, toes and knee. Five, exhale, toes and knee. Four, kick, toes, knee. Three, and toes and knee. And two, and toes and knee. And one, Woo. and toes and knee. Gently lower the legs to the floor. Stretch them out nice and long, scoop into the front body. Let's take this top leg, our right leg lifted up. Pull the knee in towards your chest or higher than your belly button if you can. Toes are lifted, right hand pushes the floor away so you're steady. Stretch the leg long, lift it up and slightly back. And then lower with the knee and then stretch out with the toes. And then lower with your knee and stretch and lower and grip the knee, pull the thighs, squeeze your butt, and let's keep going with that same detail to really finish off our lower body workout. Stretch it out, bend it in, exhale, and let's do 10 more, lift, final nine, inhale, exhale eight, inhale, exhale seven, inhale, exhale six, inhale, Five more, and four, and three, 
Last two. One more, hold it up there. Let's make a genie fold with those arms. Lower the chest slightly, the legs still up and it's still slightly back than our bodies. Let's go for it, pulse it, squeeze it up and lift and lift. So your right hip is still lifted from the floor. We've got it, we've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one, and lower. And let's roll onto our back for a really quick glute stretch. Let's go ahead and place our right ankle on our left thigh, lift the left leg away from the floor. Hold the back of the left thigh bone, draw it into your chest, push that right knee away if it's making its way closer and closer to your body. Hold five, four, three, two, and one, swap over. Left ankle, right knee, pull it in and hold. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Knees to chest, 